In this section of this Angular course, we learned about observables in great detail. We learned how to create an observable, how to transform observable data using operators like map and filter. We also learned how to consume data of an observable by subscribing to it and many more things. Finally, in this lecture, let's learn how we can unsubscribe from an observable. So we have learned that an observable emits some data. And when we subscribe to that observable, the subscriber receives the data emitted by the observable. Now, we can unsubscribe to an observable when we do not want to receive any more data from an observable. Let's try to understand it with an example. And for that, in this Angular project, I have created a new component. So if I expand this app folder, there you will see that I have created a new component called unsubscribe. Okay, and this is how the HTML of this unsubscribe component looks like so if i go to the web page it looks something like this now currently these values which you see here it is hard coded so basically what we are doing is we are looping over this array using this ng for directive and for each iteration we are just displaying the element of that array then we also have a subscribe button and an unsubscribe button now here instead of looping over this array what we are going to do is we are going to create an observable for that i am going to go to this component class of this unsubscribe component and there let's create an observable let's simply call it as counter and in order to create this counter observable i am going to call a method called interval now this interval function it creates an observable which emits sequential numbers after a specified time interval so to this interval method to this interval function we also need to pass a time interval in milliseconds here i'll pass thousand that means one second so what this interval function will do is after each second it is going to emit a number in a sequence okay now in order to use this interval function we also need to import it from rxjs library so let's write that import statement here we want to import interval function from rxjs library all right so after each second this interval function it is going to emit a value so it will start from zero and it will keep on emitting a sequential number and if you notice here this interval function it is also going to return an observable and that observable it is going to emit sequential numbers after a specific time interval in this case after 1000 milliseconds so here this interval function it is going to return an observable we are storing that observable inside this counter property now we want to subscribe to this observable so if i go to the html file here you will notice that there we have two buttons subscribe and unsubscribe so what we want is we want to subscribe to this counter observable when this subscribe button is clicked so on this button let's go ahead and let's bind click event and to this let's assign a method let's call it maybe on subscribe and let's go ahead and let's create this method in the component class so here let's go ahead and let's create this method and inside this method all we are going to do is we are going to subscribe to this counter observable so here let's say this dot counter and we want to subscribe to that counter now what do we want to do after we have subscribed to this counter observable we know that this counter observable it is going to emit some data and we are going to receive that data in the first callback function of the subscribe method so here let's pass a callback function as the first argument and we can use this callback function to handle the data which this observable is going to emit and we are going to receive the data which that observable has emitted as an argument to this callback function let's simply call it as well and what we want is here let's go ahead and let's create another property let's call it data and it is going to be an array of type number all right and initially let's set it with empty array and what we are going to do inside this callback function is every time this counter observable emits a new data a new number we want to insert that number inside this data array so here we'll simply say this dot data dot push and what do we want to push here we want to push the value which the observable has emitted all right and now in the html 
here instead of looping over this hard coded array we want to loop over the data array now keep in mind that this counter observable it is going to emit the sequential number of data indefinitely it will not stop it will keep on emitting the data indefinitely and let's actually see that so let's save the changes let's also save this file let's go to the web page and currently you will see we don't have any data as soon as i click on the subscribe button we will be subscribed to this counter observable and this counter observable will start emitting the data and this subscriber will start receiving that data and we will see that data displayed here so when i click on the subscribe button you will notice that after each second we are receiving a new value and this value keep on going this observable keeps on emitting the data it is not stopping at all as you can see okay so here as you can see this observable keeps on emitting the data and if you don't unsubscribe from that observable this counter observable it will emit the data indefinitely and at some point of time the memory will run out of space so what we want is here we also have another button called unsubscribe so whenever this unsubscribe button is clicked we want to unsubscribe from this observable this counter observable and it should stop emitting the data this counter observable should stop emitting the data to this subscriber for that on this button also let's go ahead and let's bind click event and to this let's assign a method let's call it on unsubscribe let's go ahead and let's create this method in the component class so here let's create that method and now what we want is here to this counter observable we have subscribed now when this unsubscribe button is clicked we want to unsubscribe from that observable so first of all what we need to do is the subscribe method it is going to return an observable as you can see and we want to unsubscribe from that observable so what we need to do is let's create a property here let's call it maybe subscriber one okay and here whatever observable this subscribe method is going to return let's go ahead and let's assign it to this subscriber one for that let's say this dot subscriber one equals and this subscribe method is going to return us an observable we are assigning that observable to this subscriber one property now inside this on unsubscribe method what we will do is we will access that subscriber one and from that we will unsubscribe and that's it let's save the changes and let me also save the changes in this html file let's go to the web page and when i click on the subscribe button it will start emitting the data as you can see and as soon as i click on this unsubscribe button it will unsubscribe from that observable and now you can see it is not emitting any more data all right if i subscribe again again the subscription has started and data is being emitted from zero and as soon as i click on this unsubscribe button it has unsubscribed from that observable again so this is how we can unsubscribe from an observable using this unsubscribe method now here currently we have only one subscriber but we can also have multiple subscribers right for example here let me go ahead and let me copy this div two more times okay and what i'll do is here i'll say we want to display the data stored in data one array here we want to store the data stored in data two array and here we want to store the data stored in data three array and in the component class let me go ahead and let me create the data one data two and data three properties so i'll copy it and paste it two more times here i'll call it data two and here i'll call it data three all right and here we want to push the data in data one array now for the second div also we have this subscribe button so here what i'll do is i'll call this method as on subscribe one and here i'll call it as on unsubscribe one here let's call it as on subscribe two and here let's call it as 
on unsubscribe 2 and here let's call it as on subscribe 3 and on unsubscribe 3 let me go back to component class and here let's call it as on subscribe 1 let me copy it and paste it two more times here i'll call it on subscribe 2 and on subscribe 3 and here instead of pushing the data in data 1 array we want to push the data in data 2 array and here we want to push the data in data 3 array in the same way for this unsubscribe also let's call it as on unsubscribe 1 let me copy and paste it two more times and here what we will do is we will create two more properties so here we have created subscriber 1 let me go ahead and let me create two more properties subscriber 2 and subscriber 3 all right here i'll call this one as subscriber 2 and here i'll call it as subscriber 3 and in the on unsubscribe method in the first on unsubscribe method we will unsubscribe from subscriber 1 in the second on unsubscribe method let's call it as on unsubscribe 2 there we will unsubscribe from subscriber 2 and here let's call it as on unsubscribe 3 and there we will unsubscribe from subscriber 3 all right let's save the changes let me also quickly verify we have done everything all right now let's go back to the web page so all right let's also change the html a little bit so all right here let's call it as subscriber 2 and here let's call it as subscriber 3 let's go back to the web page so you see currently none of the subscribers are subscribed that's why we don't see any data but when i subscribe here subscriber 1 is subscribed to that counter observable and we can see the data here but subscriber 2 and subscriber 3 are not subscribed so if i click on the subscriber 2 here on the subscribe button of subscriber 2 now the subscriber 2 is also subscribed and it has started receiving the data in the same way if i subscribe from subscriber 3 then subscriber 3 is also subscribed to that counter observable and it is receiving the data now if i go ahead and if i unsubscribe from subscriber 2 it will no more receive the data but subscriber 1 and subscriber 3 it is going to receive the data but subscriber 2 is not receiving the data now let me go and let me unsubscribe from subscriber 1 as well so now subscriber 1 is also unsubscribed from the counter observable so now it is also not receiving the data but subscriber 3 it is still receiving the data because it is still subscribed to the counter observable right but as soon as i unsubscribe here it will also not receive the data anymore so we have learned that an observable emits the data only if there is at least one subscriber for that observable so this counter it is our observable and initially it has no subscribers this counter observable it will have a subscriber when any one of these subscribe buttons for these subscriber will be clicked and after that only this counter observable it will start emitting the data so an observable emits the data only if there is at least one subscriber for that observable and we already know this from our previous lectures so keep in mind that in order to subscribe to an observable we use subscribe method and this subscribe method also returns an observable and we can assign that observable to a variable or a property which we can use in future to unsubscribe from it and in order to unsubscribe from an observable we use unsubscribe method all right so in this section we learned in great detail about the observable and some of the operators and important methods of rxjs library now it is not possible to cover everything related to rxjs in this angular course but i have covered the most important topics of rxjs library in this section now if you want to learn more about rxjs and its operators and methods then please let me know in the comment section if i get at least 100 requests then i'll start creating a new playlist completely focused on rxjs library with all important concepts so this is all about observables how it works and how we can use it in our angular application now as i have mentioned earlier in this section generally we don't create an observable by our own we simply use an observable in our angular application which we get by for example making an http request to the server so 
in that case the server is going to give us some data with the response and that data we will receive as an observable so we can work with that observable with the concepts which we have learned in this section this is all from this lecture and from this section if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day